Hello friends. Welcome to another new video from the Business Story and Biography channel. In today's video we will learn the success story of CVS Health Business. Wherever you are living, whether it's an urban or rural area, you will probably recognize the corporation CVS Consumer Value Store. Because this brand is everywhere available if you need help with any health problems. This corporation is the largest drugstore chain in the US in terms of the number of stores and descriptions filled. Through 27 states of the US, CVS owns more than 4,100 stores, which name either CVS or CVS Pharmacy, sizing about 8,000 to 12,000 square feet. Although some of the new building can size up to approximately 10,000 or 12,000 square feet including the drive through pharmacy. Regarding its segment, there are several specializations that corporation focuses on, naming pharmacy services, retail or long-term care, healthcare benefits, and corporate. CVS Pharmacy works similarly like Amazon, it provides not only prescription drugs, but also a wide range of general merchandise products. They include over-the-counter drugs, greeting cards, film and photo finishing services, beauty products and cosmetics, seasonal merchandise, and convenience foods. Anything you look for in a retailing store. In this digital world, any retailing stores are vulnerable to other strong major retailing competitors like Amazon, but not with CVS. It was born not to survive but to grow bigger. In May 2018, it made a big move, that it decided to acquire Aetna Incorporated, an American health insurance company. With the acquisition, the company gained more profit, particularly, in August in the same year, CVS's report showed the increase in the net revenues of the second quarter earnings, 46,7 billion dollars. 2,2% growing compared to the last quarter of the last year. The history of this successful brand, about the history of this brand, people will be surprised as the mother company of CVS has no relation to drugs. Its former corporation is called Melville, which was popular for selling discount footwear. During the late 20th century, the corporation started purchasing more than 12 retailing operations, among these was the CVS, retail drug chain. Later, in 1997, Melville divested all its non-drugstore chains in order to specialize only in CVS and at that time, the company also rebranded itself to CVS Corporation that we know today. CVS the initiative healthcare corporation to stop selling tobaccos and cigarettes. When mentioning CVS, people might think of a place where they can buy toothpaste, band-aid, or lipsticks, yet, it is the most successful operator of health clinics, prescription drugs and ranks as the second biggest pharmacy benefits manager. What makes CVS differentiate itself from other drugstore chain companies is that it knows to focus not only in retail, but in other areas of healthcare. The most triggering event that should be mentioned is that it became the first major pharmacy chain to stop selling tobacco and cigarettes in 2014. Although this business generated a huge revenue each year around $2 billion, the corporation took the initiative to stop selling the drugs causing cancer to humans. Its abandonment on tobacco somehow opened a new path in which it could partner up with other healthcare providers and confidently represent to the public as a fully healthcare drug. Additionally, the good news for CVS is that people are now caring for their health which leads to the fact that the smoking rates are declining and cigarette sales have fallen heavily. The profits no longer lie with big tobacco, but in healthcare and wellness. Larry Merler the chief executive of CVS said proudly about the wide range of health services that CVS can offer that. If a patient needs help with diagnosing and treatment, he can come to Minute Clinics, plus, its pharmacies are everywhere, they distribute medicine for more than 2 million prescriptions daily. They also negotiate the price and help 65 million people to plan the drug coverage under their insurance plans. Acquisitions the way that helped CVS to become the biggest healthcare corporation. A question might pop up that how did a drugstore chain become so successful in any area of health service? This success story began in 2004 when CVS started their first move to shift towards healthcare. In that year, CVS purchased Eckerd Stores and Eckerd Health Services, which gave it a base to provide drug benefits to employees of big corporations and government agencies. Two years later, it acquired Minuto Clinics which is now a division of CVS. This was a pioneering health clinic chain that offered treatment for routine illnesses, basic screenings, and vaccinations. CVS also invested in expanding this profitable specialty, in which it provides the expensive drugs and treatment towards the complicated or rare diseases such as cancer or hive. Then in 2007, CVS signed a deal to merge with Caremark which was worth $21 billion. This combination later created the country's leading pharmacy benefits manager. 
Later, Pharma Business that sends technicians to patients' homes to administer pharmaceuticals through needles and catheters, was purchased by CVS. The acquisitions did not stop there, Omnicare and Target's pharmacy were obtained by this corporation with the price of $12.7 billion and $1.9 billion respectively. This merging and combining different companies supported CVS strategy, which aims to become a one-stop shop for healthcare, making it the country's biggest healthcare company, bigger than the drug makers and wholesalers, and bigger than the insurers. Secret winning plans called 8Ps of the CVS. To become the biggest drugstore chain and trustworthy healthcare services, CVS must have implemented a number of strategies. One of the most popular plans that was shared by the CEO, Larry Merlo is called 8Ps. It focuses on eight areas of the business which are, purpose and promise, people, product, price, promotion, and performance. Any businesses, especially entrepreneurship startups should take a glance at this strategy to see how it has driven the success of this massive drugstore chain. Purpose and Promise The employees at CVS need to know that their work matters to human lives and they are creating impact. Their purpose is transparent which is to help people to achieve their best health. The brand promises to bring the best health care which is local, simple, and helpful. People. The key success of any successful business is its people, and CVS is not an exception. CVS invests their time in creating the best environment for their employees to work in. Some of the services can be listed, offering cash bonuses for the employees across the board, providing salary even if the employees get ill. CVS knows that its success depends on the people. When the employees are proud of their work, they will be able to deliver the best local, personal, personalized service for the customers. Okay so, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And thanks for watching. If you like the video please like, comment, share and subscribe now this official YouTube channel. Bye.